Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Alright, this is a special episode. Something that um, someone, uh, one, of, one of my viewers, uh, Brandon, shout out to you, um, requested um, for me to go over potions, brewing and all that. Um, now, typically I'm not a big potion kind of guy. Um, I can make them. Um, sometimes I mess up, sometimes I don't. Um, and as you can tell, I'm really sick, so I'm going to try to get through this. If I can't, then I'll just redo it later on. But anyway, uh, there are several different types of potions. Um, the first thing is you got to make sure that you have water. So we have a water source here that we can fill our bottles up. And then you got to have a brewing stand. Essential. <laughs> um, brewing stand you can't make until you get to the nether. Because uh, you need uh, certain materials from the nether to make a brewing stand. But once you get the brewing stand, then it's easy. You can throw your water in here. Um, and you don't need all three slots done. So I'm going to go ahead and take out two. Um, and just use the one. You do need the blaze powder here to get things going uh, there we go um, gives it enough heat so it can um, boil some stuff so anyway <clears throat> oh my god all right anyway the uh, types of um, potions uh, the base potion potion base of the potion there is thick <coughs> Oh, God, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I might have to redo this. So, a thick is um, a glowstone in on uh, with a bottle of water. And this does take a little while to get through. Um, so, we'll kind of get through this. And, yeah, then I, I just want to show you what they are. So, this is a regular bottle. And this becomes a thick potion. A thick potion has no use. All right. Um, you can, I mean, there's other things you can kind of do. You can make it into a thick splash potion with gunpowder. But um, as far as everything else, you cannot make it into another potion. So it kind of loses its uh, usefulness, basically. Uh, so thick potion, not useful. All right. There we go. Get out of there. All right. So the next one is oh, get closer. There we go. The next one is a moon. Um, moon. Oh my God. A moon, mundane. Mundane potion. Um, and once again, it has no use. Um, and you can make a mundane potion by adding pretty much anything uh, to it. Yeah, all the other base elements um, that you're going to be using to, or not base elements, but elements that you're going to be using to make potions. If you mess up and you put it in with a regular water bottle, um, then it makes a mundane and mundane, 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 ay, ay. mundane potions have no use whatsoever. Once again, um, you can make it into a splash potion, but what's the point? All right, you're out of there. So that's the two um, potion or two bases that you don't want to make uh, because you can't do anything with. So to make a usable base, you need uh, another wart. So we'll go ahead and throw another wart in here, and the nether wart makes a awkward uh, potion. <clears throat> Then the awkward potion uh, can be combined with other items to make other effects. So while that's brewing up, I'm going to go ahead in here. Oh, I forgot the gunpowder. Uh, and this is why I'm on my other, um, as you can see, I'm, this is not my regular world. This is my other world. Um, basically because I don't mind cheating in this game. Uh, so what I need is gunpowder. 
not rum powder, gun powder. Uh, yeah, I am so sick, it ain't even funny. Um, so, okay. Let's get back into survival, and I do have it on peaceful, so I don't have to care about the night time. Um, that'd just be a pain in the butt. Okay, so now we have an awkward potion, and from here, we can add other items to the awkward potion, um, to get what we need, right? Uh, so... Uh, what I will do is I will take a little bit of each um, item. There we go. And I'll just bring all this stuff down. Now there are a few things I may be missing. Uh, like I was missing the gunpowder. Um, so I, I may be missing some stuff. And there's also other stuff that they added and took away. Um, from the brewing. So... <laughs> oh goodness gracious um so like uh there's there's things in here that we used to be able to do um like the potion of slow falling um and uh a potion of uh what is it uh the potion of the turtle uh master which basically gives you more armor um yeah, but it makes you slow, and uh, slow falling is obvious. Um, I think they took it out because you can get boots now, um, or you could get boots that have slow falling, and the potion really um, kind of went to the wayside because you know, the potion only lasts so long. Um, the boots last forever, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so you can take any awkward potion and turn it into a splash potion um, for uh, splash effects. So if you want to do like a, uh, a harmful potion that you want to use against enemies or uh, friends as a joke, um, then you can create it as a splash potion. All you have to do is add gunpowder uh, to the mix and it'll create a splash potion. Let me go ahead and do that now. Um, and then you can take the splash potion and turn it into a lightning potion or a lingering potion. I'm sorry. My God. Um, and you do that by adding dragon's breath uh, to that. All right. Now you can see here that now we have an awkward splash potion. And uh, the awkward splash potion you can make into anything. Um, that you would a normal potion, uh, normal uh, awkward potion. All right, so, ay ay ay. Let's get in here and we can add uh, certain effects, and then um, from there we can also add other effects to it to lengthen the time. Um, so let's see here. Let's take uh, sugar, and we'll add sugar to this. And this should make the potion of swiftness. We'll go ahead and make some more. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, now the good thing is you can when you put the bottles in here, you only need one of each to fill three bottles. So um, in a you know uh, to get more out of one item, that's what you do. All right, so you got a potion of swiftness, and then from here you can add, um, oh, what the hell is it? I think it's glowstone? No, I do not know. Let's see. Let's see if that works. I believe it is. Um, glowstone to get, uh, so now, oh, get, off, get off of there. Uh, so now we have a potion of swiftness, and adding glowstone to that will make it a potion of swiftness two, I believe. We'll find out here in just the one second. Yep, uh, speed two, uh, which gives you one uh, minute and thirty seconds. All right, so let's get that down and oh, not that get out of there. All right, so from here we'll go ahead and add another wart to these bottles and go ahead and put them up into what we need 
I'll get down there. All right, so I got three and then three. So we'll make uh, six potions, um, six awkward potions, or nine actually. There we go, and get those three in there, and another warts up in there. Uh, so this way I have uh, several potions that I can uh, kind of go through and show you what to do with each one. Um, now when adding special effects to it or uh, increasing increased effects to these, um, it basically takes the same thing, uh, glowstone and redstone. Um, and then you can add a, here, fermented spider eye to uh, get a um, reverse effect on, um, there we go, on any positive. So uh, let's see here. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, so now we have the potion of swiftness. If I added a fermented spider eye to that, it would create a uh, potion of slowness. All right, so um, pretty much uh, not every potion, but almost every potion, you can uh, create the opposite effect with a fermented spider eye. All right. Um, okay, so let's take two of these out. We'll leave one. All right, so we already made the swiftness potion. So what we're going to do now is... Um, Oh, good grief. Add a rabbit's foot. Get in there. Okay, so the rabbit's foot will create a potion of leaping. <coughs> oh, my God. Um, so the potion of leaping. And remember, we can do um, several things. So I want to get some redstone. Actually, I'm going to add gonna add gunpowder to that to create a splash potion. And where is it? I do not have any redstone. Really? Okay. Easy enough fixed. That's why I love going into creative mode, um, especially when I don't have to really uh, worry about um, anything else. There we go. Okay. So from here, we add some redstone, and the redstone will uh, uh, bump it up even more. All right. So this should make a uh, potion of leaping two, or no, plus. Let's see what it is. Potion uh, jump boost for eight minutes. Um, so that's a little bit better than the, let me go ahead and make this one. So you can see the both effects of a fully upgraded, um, potion for this. Uh, my third is on fire. Come on, come on. All right. So from here, we'll go ahead and add glowstone to the mix. All right, and this is the potion of leaping. And remember, you can leave it like this if you're going to just drink it, or you can make it into a splash potion if you're going to uh, throw it at something. Um, so the potion of leaping, if you add a fermented spider eye to this, it will create a um, potion of slowness. Um, all right, so there we go. Plash, uh, splash, splash, splash potion, jump boost two for a minute and 30 seconds, which, you know, I mean, you can see the difference here. Um, so if I wanted to create a potion of harmful um, on this, I would put that back in and I would put a fermented spider eye 
in there. Go ahead and get another blaze in there. Oh. Why aren't you working? There we go. Okay, so apparently there, um, that didn't mix uh, with it. But you can take the uh, anything fully upgraded, uh, not everything, not everything, but some things that are fully upgraded, you can add the fermented spider eye. And now we have a splash potion of slowness. Oh my God, slowness. Um, and as you can see, the uh, color went red. Um, it went from blue to red. Um, that tells you that it is now harmful. All right. Yeah, you don't want to use it on yourself, um, especially if you're trying to get away from something. Okay, so from here, um, we can go ahead and make in uh, several different things. Uh, let's go ahead and add a blaze powder to the mix. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is. I don't need to do that. You guys already know you can create a splash potion from it. Um, so if I go a little fast on this, um, just let me know. I'm going to try to get all this in uh, before I have to shut it off. Uh, so here is a potion of strength, and you can add a redstone to get a potion of strength plus, um, which is strength uh, for eight minutes, um, or a glowstone for a uh, potion of strength two all right so from here we can add a glistering melon no, only one um, this will give you a potion of healing so you can heal up during battle you can add a glowstone for a potion of healing two or you can add a fermented spider eye for a potion of harming all right so let's go ahead and do that all right and then from the potion of harming you can add a glowstone for a potion of harming too and uh as always you can add gunpowder to create a splash potion <clears throat> um, the potion of strength has no ill effect uh, you can't add a fermented spider eye to that to get anything different. All right. Okay, so next <coughs> will be a spider eye for a potion of poison. Poisoning. Poison. That's it. That word. <coughs> you can add. <coughs> God. You can add a fermented spider eye to this to get a potion of harming. This one here. Or you can add a glowstone for a potion of poison two. Or a redstone for a potion of poison plus, which is um, uh, added effects uh, for one minute 30 seconds. Okay. Moving on. A gas tier. A gas tier creates a potion of regeneration, which will regenerate your health, okay, for uh, 45 seconds. You can add a redstone for a potion of regeneration plus, um, which boosts it up to a minute and 30 seconds, or a glowstone to create a potion of regeneration two, um, which is double the health uh for 22 seconds i believe okay um where do i put it regeneration right here uh, that's just regenerating your health okay so next on the list is a magma cream this you can create a potion of fire resistance and you can add a um redstone to get a potion of fire resistance plus for eight minutes. So I'm going to, have to make some more. No, I'm, I should be good. 
Okay, um, and then you can add a, oh, what is that? Puffer fish for a potion of water breathing. Uh, now, these last ones, if I didn't say you can add a fermented spider eye, then you can't add a fermented spider eye to these. Um, this is a potion of water breathing for three minutes, so you can breathe under water for three minutes. You can add a redstone for a potion of water breathing plus for um, eight minutes. So not bad, All right? Okay, now we can add a golden carrot to this, and we can get a potion of night vision. Uh, potion of night vision, you can add a fermented spider eye to get a potion of invisibility. Um, or you can add a redstone to get a potion of night vision plus for eight minutes. And of course, a fermented spider eye onto that for a potion, uh, potion of invisibility for eight minutes. So that's not too bad. I mean, now I like that one and it has a good effect uh, from the fermented spider eye. Um, I guess it's good. I mean, it, it can be good. Like if you're in battle or something like that, you can take that and kind of walk around undetected. Um, okay, so I do need one more. Let's get out of here and get another bottle. Uh, there we go. Put that in there. And where you at? There you go. Another one. All right. So the last one that I can make for you today um, is a potion of weakness. And potion of weakness is essentially, come on, hurry up. There we go. And a potion of weakness is a fermented spider eye in there. Uh, nope, maybe not. No, okay, I'm sorry. Um, let me get out of here. Ba -doom. Ba -doom. Ba -doom. Ba -doom. Ba -doom. There we go. A fermented spider eye onto a normal uh, water bottle re will create a potion of weakness. And like everything else, you can add a gunpowder to bump it up to a splash potion. Um, which, I mean, that comes in handy when you're in battle and you just throw the potion. I mean, you can't make them drink it, you know. But you can throw it at them and uh, splash it all over them. And you can add a redstone to this for a potion of weakness plus. Uh, so weakness for four minutes. Not bad. All right, so that's it. Um, and like I said, they add and take away stuff all the time from this. Um so, like, there may be some other potions that I'm not really familiar with right now. Um, but, like I said, I don't really get into potions too much because uh, I prefer the um, hands-on, just go in and, uh, and attack type thing. Let me throw all this stuff back in here. There we go. Um, so, I take the sword and I go wacky, wacky, wacky. Uh, I don't go, you know, I'm not one of them ones that uh, kind of sit back and throw potions and stuff like that, um, unless I'm in uh, a deep, deep trouble with a lot of things. Um, now, looking back on my hardcore, I probably should have made some uh, good splash potions to take with me into the nether, um, but hindsight is 2020. So, um, yeah, anyway, they, I hope this helped. Um, helped you Brandon and hope it helped uh, other people that really doesn't know how to create a potion um, and uh, how to build it up um, let me take uh, one of these and I don't think I have let me see here let me show you here what do I need, what do I need? I don't have any dragon's breath. Let me uh, get back in here real quick. <coughs> God. Oop. There we go. Dragon's breath. I only need one. Um, so I put the splash potion of leaping in here. 
and I think I can yes okay so basically this is a splash potion and then you can add the dragon's breath to it um, to get uh, a lingering potion um, now I can't see where lingering potions any better um, as you can see it's a jump potion two for 22 seconds um, basically the same so and it also uh, sent it back to a regular drinkable potion um, I don't know you know tell you the truth I don't think there's too many benefits to um, adding dragon's breath to it uh, but there may be something that you need uh, in there I don't know maybe who knows but that is the basics on how to create potions, um, how to make them quick. Add three, three bottles in here at a time. Uh, easy to do. Get a water source. You can just fill the water uh, as much as you need. Throw that in there, and then from there, always use a another uh, wart to um, make your awkward potion. And then your awkward potion, you can create pretty much anything you want. Um, if you happen to forget what I showed you on here, then you know just kind of take uh, you know take it, play it by ear. Basically, you can go uh, golden carrot, right? So carrots are good for eyesight in real life. So what we'll just create um, a potion of something? Hold on. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, I changed it. Okay. Uh, yep, potion of night vision. Um, so vision, carrots, you know. Uh, um, so you can pretty much figure out uh, what you need from just your basics, what you have in your pack. There's something in there. If you see the little bubbles going up, then it's working. If the bubbles don't go up, it don't work. <laughs> so if you try something else. Um, but yeah, um, until next time, guys, pound that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe. And always remember to enjoy everything that you do. If you don't, no point in doing it. I'll see you on the flip side.